I'll say maybe like a reconstructive lip one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. I'm gonna say something the way they like move. <laughs> the way they move. I think you've had a boob job, so that's gonna be at least one plastic surgery. Yeah. A butt lift? Maybe like a little cheek lift or face to face. I'll say a butt lift. Like a liquid rhino, because like the bridge of your nose is so like perfectly shaped. I don't know if you've had that many. You, I think you might just be God's favorite. I mean, it felt good. They know they thought I was cute. Your nose and your chin, maybe. And cheek. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe some cheek. I don't want to say breast augmentation, but. So many people have their boobs done. So many people, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think the nose. But other than that, maybe not that much, I don't know. Unless you're hiding something. All right. Breast augmentation? Yeah, yeah maybe that. Maybe something body-wise, like lipo, a tuck. That was interesting. I'm a pretty like modest person and I don't try to draw attention to myself. Your eyes are gorgeous. I yeah, did not thank, thank you. Y'all making me blush. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not think you've had any notable cosmetic plastic surgery. Well, I'll say BBL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe BBL. Maybe some Filler. chest. Yeah. Some breast augmentation. Your nose and maybe your jawline. More on the more surgery sign. You know what, I was very flattered that people were questioning whether I had a lot of plastic surgeries that I did not have. I thought that was a cute and fun moment. I love that for me. <laughs> I think you have a nose job. I think so too. Like a chin surgery? I'm not sure if it's like like a lipo or like a reconstructive one, but something I'll like say that. maybe like a reconstructive lip one? Mm hmm yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. They love <laughs> 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 We said you probably most. Yeah. Is, yeah. I'm gonna be the anchor over here. Yeah. I'm gonna put myself in like the middle. You've had the least. Really? Wait. You think Wait. I've had the least? Maybe you've had the least. Yeah. I'll go here. I think that you should be towards that end. I, I, don't, I don't think you've had as much plastic surgery. Okay. We have to switch. Okay. I think Kelly higher. Higher? Yeah. Than me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think you should come. Yeah, right there in the middle. I definitely think I've had more than you though. Yeah? You yeah. Think so? Let's, I do agree that you guys should. Okay. Yeah. I'll just be in the middle right here. I think I might move you up. Okay. I think above. All right. Think above me? Oh, but now, oh wait, but now I don't know. It doesn't matter. This isn't even the final. I mean, I only said one for you, so. You think oh, it's only okay, one? Okay, two. Two. Do you think we should? I think we should. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How dangerous do you think it is to get a BBL? I would say it definitely influenced my decision when I was like researching it. That's all I'll say. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it influenced my decision. Maybe we should move you down the line then. <laughs> because of like the high prevalence now, I don't think it's as dangerous as it used to be. If you were a girl, your answer would have made me move you more in this direction. Okay. But I also think that you're answer leads me to believe that you have had more plastic surgery Yeah, than I, I think. agree. I was surprised, but also not surprised that I was the only male here. But once again, like the whole stigma of plastic surgery. Okay, so what does everyone do for a living? I own a business, e-commerce. I work in porn. Nice. Yeah, I make porn. I own a beauty school. I'm an actress and I do digital marketing. I'm a pastor. I'm a student and fashion designer. So now I work at a ice cream shop, but I was at a strip club. I'm a student. I think that Me? you should be, you should move two spaces down. Why do you think that? Because you were a stripper. Mm -hmm. Well, I just said strip club. I was actually a shot girl. You having worked in a sex industry space makes you more likely to have gotten plastic surgery. I think that if I was not making a living off of social media, I wouldn't have gotten plastic surgery. It's not something that I regret at all, and I'm not gonna be upset to have this appearance whenever I'm done working in social media. When you guys did get your surgeries, did insurance cover it, or did you pay for it? Mine was covered. For the most part, mine was covered. I had partial. Oh, partial. Well, now I feel like I should go on your other side. Yeah, switch. Yeah. switch. <laughs> Maybe you and I should switch sides. Does anyone have kids? We're all like, hmm. <laughs> I do. I do. Wait, no, because this changes everything. Those look natural. Those look like naturally big ones. How old is everybody? I'm 30. 
I'm 33. 28. 23. 25. 21. 30. 20. What age was everyone when they got like their first or their only? The first time that I got plastic surgery, I was 29. Oh, so recently. Mm -hmm. I was 31. 19. I was 20, like five days away from being 21. 19. I was 29, so one year ago. Oh, I was 20 and I'm still 20. Um, I was under 24 months. You might also oh, be third. Too. Third? Let's go. I think you only had just one. Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> Has anyone experienced any stigma or stereotypes based on their choice of a lot of people think that Asian people get surgery to look whiter, and I don't think that's true. It's the most untrue stereotype, and I think it really sucks. Plus, there's different beauty standards in Asia, so to be saying that you look like a white person just doesn't make any sense either, so. I honestly think that if I were to get plastic surgery in the future, or if you know anyone were to, I don't think Eurocentric beauty standards should be held to a point where, where they should. It should be to the most of where they feel comfortable um, and not letting those standards, you know, influence them as much. It's it's a hard thing though. I feel like like when we see people, like I don't see people with like facial features like me very often in, in Hollywood and American media and things like that. Who else faces stigma? For sure I do because, you know, I'm a mom. So like the first thing my, my family's like, no, like I should just be worried about my children and, you know, the risks that are involved, they didn't want me to go under. I sometimes feel that guilt. Like, did I make the right choice doing that? Was I being selfish when I did that? I needed to do it for myself because I didn't like the person that I was looking at every time I look in the mirror. Would anyone get more, I guess? No. I would get more. I wouldn't. I would say just because of what I learned, I wouldn't do it again and what I've experienced myself. But what did you learn? The self-love part. Oh, that's cool. It's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I purposely just wouldn't because I don't have the fundage for that, so. I, mean, I would do another surgery. Yeah. Mine was more of a medically informed decision. I think it's something that I considered prior to some information, um, but thought, oh, I would never do that. And then when I was presented different facts about my body, I chose to do certain things. I think that the two of you should switch because the way that you're talking about all of this, I think you have only had plastic surgery done once, and I feel like you might have had two procedures. Whatever reason you got plastic surgery might have been something ongoing that resulted in you getting procedures in two different spans of time. Potentially. And maybe let's adjust and move you up to the second in line, I think. Let's do a little switch around. I feel like you should go in front of Emma, though. Let's be buddies. I disagree, but we'll go. I think I need to go back down, guys. Oh, I think I before me. I really do. Yeah. I would switch to y'all. Okay. 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 I'm good with this. All right. Good luck in your answer. And the eighth spot, we have Ahmad. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Also, with one surgery, we have Jordan in the seventh spot. Two surgeries, we have Jessica in the seventh spot. Okay. In fifth, Amber with three surgeries. In fourth, Sabrina, also with three, so tied. In third, Kelly with five. In second, Emma with ten. <laughs> in first, Cassidy with 15. What? Whoa. <gasps> you know what? That should have clicked earlier. I had a major septop septoplasty, uh, so I had a deviated septum, um, and also like there was like a growth, so they had to just like adjust my septum. I had a breast reduction in 2021, so I went from a size 30J to, I think I'm a 32E now. Wow. So, yeah, my back was hurting all the time. <laughs> Thank you. In 2020, I found out that I have a genetic mutation called BRCA2, and I learned about this after my mom and my aunt both had breast cancer. Last year, I had a preventative double mastectomy, and then this February, I had reconstructive surgery. I found out that through my health care provider, they only do 10 preventative surgeries like that in a year. It was an emotional journey, but one that I look back on, and I'm proud that I did what I did. I had 
breast augmentation. And then just last month, I got it taken out. As time goes by, I see all these confident women with no boobs. I made that impulsive decision, like, hey, I want these out. I'm engaged now. I don't need this look. I don't work in a strip club anymore. So I got a mommy makeover almost two years ago. I got a breast lift and a tummy tuck. And about four months ago, I got a breast augmentation. Okay, so my first procedure was the double eyelid surgery. Then after that, I got my jaw um, shaved. And then my third one was the buccal fat removal. And then the fourth one was uh, laser lipo. I got it done, I regret it. And then the fifth one is Kybella to try to revise it. Kybella, filler, basically all over my face. And then all at once, I got jawline lipo, buccal fat removal, 360 lipo, arm lipo, and then I got it all injected into my ass with a BBL. <laughs> I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, so I've had 15 total revisions I had a bone graft when I was 12. I had double jaw surgery when I was 15. I have cheek implants and I had liposuction under my jaw. Wow. My boobs are natural. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a face. Mine didn't form correctly. I was born with a birth defect. I don't know what I look like. I get to almost kind of help create that and be my most ideal self. If you are like, not feeling good, like let people know. Like if you need um, a surgery that could be considered elective or it's a plastic surgery, like you're your best advocate, you're your own advocate. Keep making um, an effort to make yourself feel at your best and don't let anything take its, take its toll on you. I think if you're considering getting a surgery done, make sure to research, research, research. But my boobs are natural as well. <laughs> <laughs>